Animation editor is a powerful built-in plugin. You can find it in plugins tab. You can use the default rigs in Roblox for this. Click the build rig plugin and plugins tab. Select the rig you want. I'll use R15 for this. Let's start with timeline. This space will contain keyframes when we start to edit our rig. You can change its duration by changing this value. We'll get into it later. I'm changing it back for now. We are ready to edit now. You can change position and rotation of rig parts and they'll appear in timeline. Also you can use this to add them to timeline. You can add all two if you want for some reasons. I'll quickly make a basic animation. By the way, you can use this add keyframe button for adding keyframes. When you change a part of the rig, it automatically adds. You might want to apply an effect in multiple stages. For example you might want to change the speed. That's the point of adding keyframes manually. That's the basic robot kick animation done. But it doesn't really look well. We'll use keyframe easing for this. I'll select both keyframes and choose cubic in easing style. Also we can set easing direction too. Just like tweens. It looks smoother now. You can do better than this. I did this in 3 minutes. Putting time on it will bring better results. Now, easing is done. We can move to IK. You need to open with this button and click enable. We can see the IK options now. IK stands for inverse kinematics. IK is just like rigging in Blender, if you are familiar with it. If you are not, it's being used for calculating rotations for neighboring joints, in order to get one specific joint to a desired location. As you can see, it's using connection parts like bones. There are two modes for it and this is a body part mode. Body part mode only calculates related limbs, and we have the full body mode. It'll consider all body parts when moving a part. We can stop moving some parts with clicking the pin icon near it. As you can see, these parts aren't moving now. But we pinned two of the legs and now rig only rotates in the X axis. If we unpin one of them, you'll see rig starts to rotate. Animation priority is the most important thing you shall set in an animation. You can see that action has the highest priority. Higher priorities will override lower ones if they are being played at the same time. You can trigger loop with this icon. We can go over to settings now. I said we will get back to the time in video's beginning. Animation times are being displayed with seconds and frames as default. You can change it in the settings. Frame rate is each frames which are being displayed in a second. So if we set frame rates to 30 frames per second, we will need to write this to get a half second. Because we selected it as 30 frames per second. Back to settings, we can change the frames per second from there. If you are changing an animation's frame rate which has already been done, it'll be broken. Because you need to set your timing again. So I don't recommend changing this after you finished your animation. You can also see in seconds and frames mode, our maximum frames is now 60 frames, after setting to 60. If you want more motion in one second, you shall use higher frame rates. I don't recommend going above 60, unless you know what you are doing. You can think animation events like keyframes which will trigger an event, when timeline reached it. This will be useful in scripting animations. You must add a name for it, in order to use in scripts. You can also rename keyframes. There is an event for marker reached, but it's deprecated now, and it's better to use animation events. If you will design your own animations and you want to overwrite it to Roblox default animations, you must name last keyframe. Remaining options are self-explanative. That was it for this tutorial. Hope you understood. See you in another one.